Welcome to Rainbow Six Siege Mythbusters Episode 5. So this time we're doing a community special and all these myths were submitted by the community in the comments. So let's get right to it. First myth we have is IQ can see through smoke. So this would make her very useful actually if she can see through smoke. So we've got smoke here putting down gas grenades and it looks like we're very much able to see through that smoke. Way better than we can with normal vision. So let's double check that and have another look. So the smoke gets really thick, you can't see anything and then you can clearly see both of them through it. So that is really good, you can easily headshot people through smoke. And this works with attacker's smoke grenades as well, so it is confirmed and it is really cool for IQ. I'm going to play her more now. So myth, one jammer can defend two entire walls. So we've got it in the corner here because this kind of covers the most of a wall. Now if the attacker places it in the middle, it'll certainly jam it. But if the attacker is smart enough to put it to the edge of the wall, it will be outside of the breacher. Now, it may be that most attackers will not do that, so you could potentially get away with being sneaky and covering two walls with one jammer, but if the attackers are smart enough, there is a blind spot. You'll have to use more jammers to cover. So that's busted. So Jaeger's ADS will not destroy a rolling grenade if it's going slow. And you can see from here I throw a really slow grenade, it still gets taken out, so that one is busted. Jaeger's defense is smart enough to take it out. So Doc's revive pistol will revive an enemy. So here here we got Doc down in me. We can see Hawkman who's my only our teammate, he's off in the back, and then Doc gets me up with the revive pistol. And I come back to life with 75 health as an attacker. So make sure you don't go reviving the enemy. So that is confirmed. So next up is a really cool idea and really cool suggestion is that is can a active defense system actually take out something through a hole that you have made so that potentially you could place it behind a wall and put a, a hole on the other side that would then take out something and the attackers basically wouldn't see the active defense system and be able to destroy it beforehand. So we've set up a big hole here just to kind of test to see if it's possible for it to actually shoot through a destructible wall. And it works. So that's very cool. But what if we went with a far smaller hole? So I decided to try with just one punch. And I thought this probably won't work. Like, the game can't be that in depth that the developers went to that kind of extent of actually being able to program this active descent system to take out grenades through a small hole, you would think. But if we watch it, and I'll zoom us in so we can see clearly, it does work. The active defense does actually shoot through the little hole. So you can get really creative with the positioning of your active defense system. So that is confirmed. And I think that's a really cool one. That was a great suggestion. So Sledge can destroy plane windows. So he does make them look very pretty. Like, I love that. That's really cool smash. But he will not actually break them. And you, you don't you're not able to shoot through them either. But you can shatter them and they look really cool. But you are unable to actually shoot through them. It's also really hard to hit the window. It really likes hitting the frame. You have to get really, really close for you to actually hit it properly. But yeah, it just shatters it. Very cool though. But that's busted. Cannot break the plane windows. Glass can snipe through two castle barricades. So he can snipe through three walls in total. So Castle Barricades, they're known for being a lot stronger. So can he shoot through two? So I get Hawkman to shoot at first round at about chest height. And it looks like it's going through. And we'll get him to do one more at low level. And we can see that he's clearly managed to shoot through both of them. Clean holes right through. So he can shoot through. So you can shoot through two castles consecutively. And uh, just a bonus here, like you can actually pick up your castles and then put them back down even if they're damaged, which I think is pretty cool if you get the opportunity. Anyway, that's confirmed you can shoot through two castles. So Thermite's charge cannot be destroyed until it has been fully placed on the wall. And it is the case that while you're putting the Thermite up, it can't be destroyed. It basically just cannot be. It's, it's immune to everything until it is fully placed. So a Sledge's Hammer 
uh, can kill someone who is prone on the ground. Yes. Confirmed. Very quick and simple one, that one. Mute jammer will stop the diffuser. Interesting idea. Doesn't seem like that would be something that the game developers would implement, and it is not. It doesn't even slow it down, so it's busted. Now, glass does not appear on heartbeat sensors. A uh, bit of an odd one, this, and yeah, it's he does. So, I guess it might be interesting if he didn't have a heart. But yeah, it's busted. He can be seen on heartbeat sensors. So myth, entering a window can kill an enemy. So if you enter a window and there's an enemy right there, you actually get a melee kill. So that's cool. Not going to happen much in many games, but it is very cool and it's confirmed. If a player dies when cooking a grenade, it will disappear. So I predict this is going to be very controversial. So as you can see, I started to cook the grenade, but I did not throw it and then I was killed. We're going to see this from Pyrex's point of view now. So you can see the pin fly off, you can see me getting killed, I never threw it, and boom, it explodes. So a cooking grenade will explode if the operator is killed. So glass can snipe through shield glass. So this is uh, a friendly fire myth, but uh, people seem to love asking these ones, and yeah, it's busted. It will not go through that shield, uh, shield glass, it just does not happen. So Blitz can destroy nitro cells in the air with his flash. This is another odd one. Seems very unlikely. So we tested this a bunch and we could not get the, the flash to kill the uh, nitro cell at all. It just would not happen, so it's busted. So a round can be a draw. This is maybe something that people haven't seen at all in the game. It's quite possible you've never seen it. But uh, we just got everyone together and blew them all up and you can see there was a draw. So that is confirmed a round can be a draw. A player wielding a shield can be headshot from the front. So you've got the shield here, he's quite a distance away, I'm at the same level as him. And I'm trying to shoot him in the head. So you would think that more than likely this isn't going to work, right? But if we zoom right in, there's a tiny little pixel sized part of his head popping up and you can hit it. So you can headshot someone, and you might do that, you might fluke it in game and hit him right in the head. So that is actually confirmed. You can headshot a shield wielding player from the front. So SES members take less damage from gas. So here we've got Thermite. He's got two armor, and we're gonna pit, pit him against Sledge, who also has two armor. And we can see the damage numbers are exactly the same and the time to death is exactly the same. So even though the SAS members have gas masks, they do not take less damage from the gas. Uh, this though I want to show, because this was weird, we did a bunch of different tests. And this is a test where we had Sledge and Twitch. And Sledge died and Twitch didn't. We, we're not entirely sure why, so we think there might be some sort of bugs with the the gas grenades because somehow Twitch took no damage and she doesn't have a gas mask so Fuse's cluster charge can be destroyed mid detonation so this is something I've done in game before and it's as soon as you see Fuse fuse then just take a shot at the fuse so for instance there on both occasions it only was able to get one grenade in before it destroyed it so that is confirmed this is an interesting one. Jaeger's ADS will ID enemies. Um, sounds unlikely, but I guess they have sensors and stuff, and obviously they may have well have some sort of camera system. But uh, I tested this out by being in the room off the master bedroom. We had IQ run in and come right behind me, and I only ID her as soon as I turn around. So they do not ID enemies, so that's busted. Next up, deployable shields can be used as cheap man's mobile shields. I wouldn't recommend using them as mobile shields, but they are bulletproof while you're moving with them, so, you know, I really wouldn't use it. Uh, normally as well, Ashi's breaching charge will dig into the deployable shields and blow up, but it does not happen when they've actually, they're actually holding it. It will bounce off. So that is confirmed. You can use it as a cheap man's shield. 
Attackers can use Bandit Shock Wire to kill the hostage and win. So the attackers can, at this moment in time, deliberately walk over to Shock Wire, drop the hostage on the Shock Wire, and that Shock Wire will damage the hostage, it will down the hostage, and then it will kill the hostage, and the attackers will win. So that's, I would say, a bit of an exploit at the moment, and I'm pretty sure that's going to get patched very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time. And check out the previous episodes of the Mythbusters for other myths you may have missed. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now.